This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Vive for the Sega CD. Now, since part 1, I did a fair bit of level grinding, like, increased myself to 5 levels. And now Sandor has 3 spells. Balm, which allows you to heal, but it costs 10 MP. Flame, which costs 5 MP, does a fire attack. And Blaze, I believe, costs 10 MP. Which is a stronger version of Flame. Now, unfortunately, those are the only spells Sandor can learn. The good news is, every time you gain a level, you get your health back. And your MP back. Okay, here's a new one. He's Slugwort. He kind of looks like a slug and a bear put together. Only working designs. Hey, not that I mind. And at least the battles themselves will go pretty fast. Alright, welcome to the town of Jeffel. Hey mister, you know what? Wanna know what? We saw some big boats. They was flying in the air. My daddy says they were going to the king's house. Yeah, look how that turned out. Get all too excited. Yes, I know Otto. He stops here often for supplies. He's a strange one though. He refers his dank cave over the comforts of a modern town. Well, with assholes like you, I can see why. Ooh, herbal extract. Well, I got something to heal. Well, I got phoenix hearts too, but they're rare. Oh, whoa! Our king is gone! Our queen is gone! The Danax scum must pay for this! A few soldiers have straggled in. They might tell you more. Leave me. Oh, son of a bitch! Okay, at least there's an inn I can sleep in for 20 pieces of gold. Come on, I'm the prince. I should live for free. Ooh, a leather band. I should equip this. And I'll just go into my arm. Oh, my defense went up by three. Perfect. It's nothing, your highness. Really just a flesh wound. It takes more than Danak's tin monsters to do in old odds. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, let's see what you're doing. Hobbs is hurt bad. We will make for the fortress as soon as we are able, sire. We can only pray that Danak did not raid that far west. Sire, thank the immortals you are yet with us. Yeah, I'm fine. Wish I can say the same about you guys. Sadly, running makes you go a bit too fast, so it's not perfect for going in small houses. Say it's not so! They tell me metal monsters are ready to perfect to part the castle! Our king is dead! Oh, son of a bitch! And what's more, the princess bride was stolen even as she spoke her vows! Yeah, but that means I'm available now, so I, I, wait a minute. I tell you, those giants drop from their sky boats and, like birds and spat fire! Balderdash! No one can put boats in the sky, not even Otto! Okay, let's look around here, because we're not in the bar, there's a secret passage. Uh, Jelly Ignite, which is an item that casts fire. A bronze sword and a leather shield. I'm glad I got the leather shield, but believe it or not, the bronze sword actually does worse damage than the long sword. There. I think I can just sell the bronze sword. Apparently, nobody else can use it. If Castle Loroth was attacked, then I wonder if Fort Guyland is okay. We've had no news from that quarter, but the villagers of Smythe should know. Uh, Smythe, that's to the other side of Fort Guyland. We won't be going there yet. Yes, I know he's a sage wise beyond our understanding, but he's also a good teacher. He's taken on the cutest little elf boy as an apprentice. I don't know where Otto lives exactly, but he hails from the south. Well, then I guess I'm gonna have to go south then. Huh, tool dealer. Uh, I could use some boots. We've got a bargain. Get some more herbal extracts. We got plenty of money, which is good. Wait, I can sell some shit now. I can sell the short sword. Nobody else is going to be able to use it. And the bronze sword. I can get rid of that as well. Sadly, I don't have an unlimited inventory. And the other. Okay, what's going to go up and what's going to go down? Eh, nothing else went down. I mean, a cape is not going to do much. A uh, pocket knife? No. An exit stone. Basically, I can just leave a dungeon anytime I want as long as I use it. Uh, linen clothes, quilted tunic. 
I guess circlet. Um, do I want to increase my agility too? You know, I'm pretty sure I'll get a drop off in defense, but let's buy a bandana anyway. At least I'll increase another stat. So let's put it on. There. Oh, another herbal extract. I can get a quilted tunic. Wait, what do I have equipped on my body right now? I forget. Uh, leather band. Oh, linen clothes. I'm supposed to look in the body section, of course. Whip. Too bad they don't have an equip segment in the purchase area. That would have been a lot more convenient rather than just having to go out again and again. I'll sell the royal cloak. Hey, why is that expensive? I might want to keep it. You know, just in case. So I can look like an aristocrat or something. Oh, wait, I was already talking to you, even though I was nowhere near you. That's more herbal extracts. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, according to the map, I should be going a little bit more southward. Okay, is this it? Oh, I see an island. Uh, looks like I see a new enemy here. The Digger Ant. Eh, it's not too bad. I'd rather save my magic for later. Up, oh, there's the place. Puff. Oh, here are some new enemies. Hirelings. Well, since I'm just trading shots, we'll go to AI mode. Okay, now what? Go this way, maybe? Now it's gonna become more like a maze. Gotta find exactly where I need to go. Let's try this way. Oh great, there's so many shafts, it's unbelievable. Like a new enemy, goblins. At this point, all the enemies are the same. They just trade shots with ya. Luckily, I got a bomb spell and some herbal extracts, should I run into any trouble. Ooh, treasure chests. I mean, being at level 6 is a pretty good idea. Sure, it's gonna get too easy, but trust me, the bosses in this stage can be quite brutal. Even in segments where the enemies are really weak, you can have bosses that are super powerful and don't actually belong in that part. Let's see what's in here. Oh, herbal extract. Yeah, that's turbo it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that items can only have like nine of each item in an item slot. Which should explain why there's two slots for herbal extract, nine and three, rather than for one to have twelve. Very unfortunate, I know, but that's how it works. I really don't need to edit these battles out. I mean, I can just hit fast forward. If there's so many in a group, then if there's only one, what's the point? Another quilted tunic. Wasted 200 bucks, maybe, but who knows. Could help me out in the long run. Let's go down these stairs. Oh, ambush. Apparently that boost in agility wasn't enough. How close am I to gaining the next level? 1210 experience points. Ooh, an exit stone. That's cool. I mean, who are these hirelings being hired by... They wouldn't be called hirelings if they weren't hired, were they? It'd be very weird to see an unemployed hireling, to say the least. Okay, that was a bad joke. Okay, now where am I supposed to go? I wouldn't have to worry about these long shafts if they weren't enemy infested. Maybe this way. 
Ah, here we go. Look, Master! Someone's come in! Hello! We haven't had a visit visitor in a... well, never. Did you get any Monster Bites? I can fix them. Is Otto... Hey there, Pottle! Back to work, you! You've got better things to do than standing around yakking all day. Oh no, teacher, I'm not yakking. Are you Otto, the legendary sage? Don't know how legendary I am. But yes, Otto is my name. What brings you to my damp abode? It's kind of a long story, but here goes. Hmm, I see you have quite a bit of a job on your hands. Hmm. Ah, yes, Sandor. I knew you when you were but a tyke. Alas, you probably don't remember. That was long ago. I don't remember. But enough about times past. Can you tell me about how to defeat the Danik? Well, uh, you don't want much. They have already utterly crushed two nations. No sword, bow, or magic can match their new weaponry. But there is one way to end their insane war making. The legendary armor. What? Seriously? I thought that was just a myth. It's as real as the edge of your sword and far deadlier. It once destroyed a world before they could stop it. And when it was finally stopped, they hid it and sealed its power. Yes, because when you see any apocalyptic powers, you don't destroy it, you just seal it away. And of course it's going to be used again. Yes, the story of the five magicians. But where is it now? Thunderation! Not so fast, young Sandor. To unlock the armor, you must unlock the source of its power, the orbs. Find them first, and you'll have the key that will bring the armor to life again. I suspect that one of the orbs is on the island of Magmal off the west coast. I see. I'll give that a try. Thank you. Wait! It would be too dangerous to attempt this alone. Pato! What is it, Master? I'm not in your way. Don't sulk. I want you to please accompany the prince as his attendant. Really? Oh, Master! This lad is a disciple of mine, but he's still a bit inexperienced. You can use a little magic, though. Take him with you. Yeah! I'm going on a real adventure! Thank you, Master. Stop gushing, and don't be a pest to Prince Sandor. Oh, Master. I can't help being excited, though. I'll protect Prince Sandor with the awesome magic you taught me. Woo! You could sure use a bath. Hmm? Pottle! Uh, sorry, Master Otto. I didn't mean to offend the Prince of Laura. It just kind of slipped out. Sire, with my magic power and your fighting skill, we'll make a great team. Trust me. Say, Master Otto, I'll be back before you know it. Yes, I suppose your ears would be a great advertisement for Q-tips. Yay, Bottle joined the quest. And wow, those are some big ears. They're even big on the character portrait! Okay, what can I give this guy? A whistle dagger? That can attack all enemies. That's why I like this move. Well, that other quilted tunic I got can really help Pottle out. Did I buy more leather boots or did I buy just one? Yeah, I only bought one. Okay! Let's use an exit stone and get out of here. Yeah, hey, before we make for Fort Guyland, we're gonna have to do some training. <coughs> Pidal is only at level 2, but what spells do we have this time? Balm and Flame. Same as me. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part when I do some more. Bye. See ya, everyone.